Can the drug and magic mushrooms rewire the brain to treat depression? That is a question that's answered possibly in a report at Study Finds. Be sure to like and subscribe below. Scientists finally know how magic mushrooms, a psychedelic drug, rewires the brain to treat depression. An international team says the psychedelic compound psilocybin is the key to helping open up the minds of patients even weeks after using the drug. Using fMRI scans on the patients in the randomized control trial, researchers at the Imperial College of London found that the people taking the compound saw an increase in communication between brain regions that are usually isolated in depressed brains, along with purple elephants and unicorns. Okay, I threw that last part in. <laughs> now, this is a serious study, I promise you that, but I can't resist the comments. Scientists examined the brain scans of nearly 60 people in treatment for depression. The scans revealed that psilocybin therapy increased a brain connectivity in these patients lasting for up to three weeks. Now, we're not telling you to go out and fire them up or shove them up your nose or <laughs> whatever you do with these things. I'm not a doctor or a drug dealer for that matter. Just showing you the research by quote unquote Opening up the brain, patients reported improvements in their depressive symptoms. On the flip side, study authors say using conventional antidepressants such as escitalopram did not increase brain connectivity, suggesting the psychedelic mushrooms affect the mind in a much different way from standard prescription drugs. Previous studies have also looked at the possibility of using mushrooms as a mental health medication as well. And people have been using these things to see music and taste colors for years, if that's your thing. Senior author Professor Robin Carhart Harris from the University of California, San Francisco, said, quote, In previous studies, we had seen a similar effect in the brain when people were scanned whilst on a psychedelic. Yes, she said whilst. Maybe I should be reading this with a British accent. But here was seeing it weeks after treatment for depression, which suggests a carryover of the acute drug action. I mean, if she's British. Although the strength and duration of these benefits varied from person to person, the team found the strongest brain changes among patients reporting the greatest improvements in their mental health. That makes sense. Scientists note that trials examining psilocybin's impact on depression take place under controlled clinical conditions and use regulated doses of the so-called magic mushrooms, not in a 1968 VW van down by the river. <laughs> the team adds that people dealing with depression should not try self-medicating with psilocybin or consume magic mushrooms without guidance of a medical professional. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Study authors say that their findings are important because they found that psilocybin works differently from conventional antidepressants, making the brain more flexible and fluid. Professor Nutt, the head of the Imperial Center for Psychedelic Research, I didn't know there was a thing. This supports our initial prediction and confirms psilocybin could be a real alternative approach to depression treatments. That is nuts. <laughs> Get it? Professor David Nutt. I... I when you have to explain a joke, never mind. In an ironic twist, Carhartt Harris concludes that the treatment may also work for addiction and anorexia. Research is ongoing. We have a lot more info on this and other studies. Just click the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.